Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 8th of 2022. Well, it is titled Orion and the Ocean of Storms. So what do we see here? Now, this is an image from a few days ago on December 5th, as the Orion craft passed by the moon on its return trip. Now, if you remember, just a few weeks ago, it made its outbound trip past the moon and went out to a very large distant retrograde orbit before now returning toward Earth and heading back to Earth. So we see it here passing close to the moon and we can see part of the ocean of storms, one of the great Maria or seas on the moon. Now the seas are not water, but actually solidified lava that flowed many billions of years ago and filled up the great basins on the moon from very large impacts earlier on. We also see a number of craters. Now we notice that there are very few craters in the Maria. The number of craters that we see tells us something about the age of the object. The more craters we see on an object, the older the surface is. That means the longer it's been exposed to being hit from things by space before being resurfaced. So something like the Earth has only a few craters on it and is a very young surface because we have volcanic activity and weathering that constantly wipe out craters. Whereas on the moon, craters that formed billions of years ago are still present and can still be seen today. Now we do see a relatively young crater, which is the crater known as Kepler off to the right hand side. And we can see the rays from it extending. Those rays are a sign of a young crater as they are material thrown out in the impact that then travels across the moon. Now those will get worn down over time quicker than the crater itself. So the fact that we can still see the rays means it's probably a relatively recent crater, maybe only millions or tens of millions or hundreds of millions of years old, as compared to the billions of years old for the much larger uh, for the for the majority of the craters that we see in the image today. So the Orion craft is continuing its mission and heading back toward Earth due to splash down in three days in the Pacific Ocean. So passing by an ocean, ocean of lava, solidified lava on the moon here three days ago and three days from now it will splash down in the Pacific Ocean on its return trip to Earth and the test of the Orion craft that can eventually bring humans back to land on the moon for the first time in about 50 years. So that was our picture of the day for December 8th of 2022. It was titled Orion and the Ocean of Storms. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.